Alrighty folks, it's time for some Minecraft. Time for some Blood and Bones. Blood and Bones 1.1.1 is now out. And that second digit being a 1 means it has moved from a beta pack to a stable pack. That also means it's time for a world reset. Um, I know some of you guys want to see more progress in the existing world. But when that second digit changes, it's basically saying, hey, Things have changed so much, including like all the ore gen and uh, other stuff, that it's time for you to reset your world. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I do want to. So, uh, again, I'm going to turn on the bonus chest just, just so I can grab a couple of torches and it won't be completely dark and horrible the first night for you guys. And let me put in a seed. I want to... Uh, Put something in that you guys can type in easily and you can follow along with uh, my map if you want. So I saw this on the forum not long ago and apparently there's a mining level or a joke in there or something of Ia, like EMS, amazing. And I think it needs some exclamation marks. So let's give it three exclamation marks. Ia, amazing. I love it. All right. Uh, no cheats, obviously. Default world, generate structures, survival, setting for hard mode, difficulty, and go. Uh, the other thing I decided is I'm not going to use Biomes of Plenty this time. Once again, I want to make it easier for you guys to generate the same world I'm in, same seed, same settings. And if I used Biomes of Plenty, I would definitely want to customize the heck out of it, the... Ooh, there it is. I'm like, where's the chest? I would definitely want to customize the heck out of the config file, and then that's just going to cause problems because you guys aren't going to be able to uh, use the default config file. What's in there? Oh, lots of good stuff. We'll just leave that right there. Okay, so forest is good. Plains is nice. Ooh, extreme hills. So we can get our uh, emeralds from there once we get to digging. This is beauty. Uh... Snow is going to be really good to make some smoothies, but there's actually another way to do that. I think instead of heading for the snow, let's head over here and maybe set up a little base here-ish. And I think, um, yeah, I think we can deal with not having snow right off the bat pretty easily. And honestly, probably going to be just eating a bunch of uh, candleberries and rutabagas and junk like that at first anyway. So the only problem I'm concerned with is here in the um, jungle, or jungle, actually we didn't see jungle. I think in the forest here is it's dark enough that things might spawn in some areas. So I have to be a little bit careful. Hopefully we won't get any bad guys spawning. But uh, yeah, so day one, i uh, got to grab as much food as I can find. We've got to get a bunch of uh, wood. Punch the wood, of course. And with the wood nurse enabled, we're going to need like twice as much as we used to need. So I think you used to need nine... So I'm going to want like 18 wood or something. Ooh, there's a rogue lake. Let's, uh, I'm not going to hole up in it. Oh, it's crossed water. I'm not going to hole up in it, but I wouldn't mind swinging by horses, which I saw earlier and didn't say anything. Um, wouldn't mind swinging by and just stealing stuff out of the chest because there's probably pears, huh? Okay. There's probably a pair of pants in there. It seems to always be a pair of pants in there. Uh, well, not always, but fairly often. Um, I'm going to need a block. Get all this off the bar, because all that is useless. Except for those. Yeah. Let's grab this real quickly, and then i got to get moving. Oh, you know what else I could grab from in here? Oh, come on. Really? Can't put one block. I need two blocks. Um, there should be some gravel in here. So let me grab the chest. What do we got? 
Oh, well, I got some goodies. Hey, and there's a torch, so I'm not even cheating, really. I guess I got four, four bonus torches, but that ain't much of a cheat. So, alright, grab all that stuff. Get the gravel. A few goodies in there. I'm going to need a lot more gravel than this, obviously, but uh, hey, you know. Ugh. There it goes. Uh, we'll grab this real quickly, and then I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to hold up on a uh, roguelike. I think I'll come back here to get some stuff and go down into the dungeon later. But, you know, right now I have nothing, so no way am I going into the dungeon yet. Um, is this swamp? Uh river yeah is this swampy oh yeah swampland and there's a witch's hut too it looks like wow this is an e amazing spawn <laughs> lots of good food i think that was another thing with biomes of plenty you actually get less food because biomes of plenty generates all sorts of um, ground cover and its own flowers and plants and stuff and you kind of can't eat most of that so Oh, I should have looked over there. Thank you, Creeper. Uh, lightning Creeper is blowing up over there. Yeah, so the thing about the, the roguelikes is they have cobblestone in them all over the place, and the mobs hate cobblestone now. Um, so you're just going to have explosions all the time over there, and eventually it's just going to explode basically the entire bottom of the... That's not a village. That must be a witch's hut. Okay. I thought for a second we had a village, but nope. That's okay. You know, starting with a village is a little cheaty, because you're not guaranteed that. And uh, If you get one, great, but you know what? You're not... Not gonna have... You shouldn't rely on that, because you never know what you're gonna get the next spawn. Okay, I might set up a little something right here. You know what I need to do is punch some trees, because... Of, oh. I'd really just leave the forest without punching any trees, because there's no trees I want to break here. That's got dye, uh, dye leaves on it. Oh, jeez. Well, shoot. I got sidetracked with that roguelike and totally forgot to get some wood before I got over here. So let's go get, go back here, get some wood. And I'm probably going to end up having to hole up over here for a little bit, because we're not going to have enough time to get the wood and turn around and get back. Dang it. Uh, I do have the new Spice of Life config, by the way. So if you're on 1.1.1, you're going to want to get the Spice of Life config file off of the forum thread. And that's going to change. And that's a fruit tree. We don't want to break that. Here we go. Uh, you're going to want to get the uh, Spice of Life config off of the forum because it will uh, change how the, the food works a little bit. And basically, uh, Yamas has posted that this is how he wants it to work. This is official. It's going into the next version. So if you're in 112 or later, uh, which isn't available at the time of this recording, but when you're watching this, if you're on 112 or later, then don't worry about it. You're already set. Um, if you're on 111, go ahead and get that config file, and it's going to make the... Um, foods work just a little bit different and make them a little easier honestly. The problem with the first Spice of Life configs was that basically as soon as you ate one of a particular type of food it started getting diminishing returns and the second one was already less um, nourishing. You got less less saturation and less food hunger, hunger bar back from it. Okay, that's west. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough six oak and seven of this. I need a little bit more wood, and then I'm just going to have to dig in and, and kind of hole up here underground for a minute. I'm looking at the map. I don't see any, like, caves, obviously, on the mini-map right now. I guess I could go to the top of the roguelike. I don't want to get stuck up there, but wherever I go, it's not going to be my permanent situation, is it? Well, you know, the, the edge of this forest might not be bad, actually. I'll knock down all the trees around here, and we'll be 
next to the plains, next to the extreme hills. Uh, you know what? Maybe I will hang out here. Ooh, that's I don't want to be next to that early on because that's going to keep it dark and mobs are going to not despawn there. Uh, maybe right here where I've cleared out a bit. Let's Yeah, let's start right here. And actually it will be right on the plains. Oh, dang it, there's another one. Uh, the plains slash uh, forest boundary. Okay. I don't want to be anywhere where they're going to just stay all day long. All right, let's let's go over here to this little area because it's clear around that. And I'm just going to dig into the, the the ground for tonight. Yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to do is something like I did in my hardcore world, the last hardcore world, is um, kind of build a little bit of a dirt. And that's not deep. There's, we're down too far. We're getting stone already. I'm going to have to go up a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Dig in and do a little bit of... Uh, God, more stone? All right. Let's go up here. Do a bit of a dirt house. So I'll clear out a bunch of this dirt, and uh, I'm going to make just a little kind of dirt shack for tomorrow night. I don't have time to do it right now, I don't think. Let's get... Oh, yeah. No. All right, so let me just, uh, yeah, let's just block this off, and then we can get the Tinker's Construct stuff started. And I do have a couple of torches. Whoa, dark. Okay, here we go. Um, can't break that, so let's put a torch right there. Uh, okay, so for tonight, we're going to get the old Tinker's Construct stuff going. Uh, pretty much the same start as always, of course, because... Again, if you uh, if you guys are familiar with this, which I'm sure most of you are, but, uh, just a refresher, <laughs> or if you're not familiar with it, all the normal tools are disabled. You cannot make any wooden tools. You cannot make any um, uh, stone tools, actually, uh, as well. Let me just put all the things in there for now. All right, I'm going to need... Gra oh, I didn't get enough gravel, did I? Oh, I'm glad I got a little bit because, yeah, I'll be able to make a pickaxe and that's about it. Shoot. I should have got more gravel on day one, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we we still got plenty of stuff to do tonight. Uh, these sticks will be good. All right, so basically we want to start out with a bunch of wood and some food because I'm sure I'm starving or almost starving by now. Now, the way these work is you can... Um, well, Spice of Life gives you diminishing returns as you eat more of the same type of food over and over. So you get three for free early on. Uh, whoops. And it just double eight. So four times. And now you can see the nutritional value is at 100%. But if I eat this, I think two more times is actually going to change it. Yeah. I eat it six times, uh, and then it might be five times. I'm going to double check that. And then basically I get no hunger back from that until I've eaten uh, enough other foods that I'm hungry for bamboo shoots again. So we're going to grab some rutabagas for the next time. Let's, uh, let's, I think it's six. Come on. Put all the things in the right places. There we go. So let's, let's grab that and uh, then let's get to work on, um, let's get to work on our Tinker's Construct stuff. Uh, so I'm going to need, well, first of all, you only get two planks per wood um, by de because of the wood nerfs that Yaman's put in. Oh, I'm getting nervous here. i got to slow down a little bit. All right, I'm going to need two crafting tables. One of them I can convert to a crafting station. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of sticks. And we're going to need three four five actually six of these but let's let's hang out for a minute and uh, come back to that so if I put this on top of a piece of wood I get a part builder and a book which I don't need if I put that on top of a plank we'll get something else we'll get a stencil table and if we put that on top of a third thing, geez, oh, crafting table, here we go. Duh. Like I'm drawing a blank here, guys. Uh, we'll get the tool station. Okay, so we want the sensor table part built. Yeah, this is good. Um, 
I guess there's just enough for yeah. I don't want to break that. All right. There's just enough room here. Let's just go ahead. Stencil table, art builder, and tool station. And now I need some more blank patterns, um, which means I need some more sticks, which means I need to do some more wood. Let's just do, yeah, I need two. I need a pickaxe head and I need a binding. So let's throw these in here. Let's get the pickaxe head and let's get the binding. And I'm going to use this gravel and you put three of them in a crafting table, you get flint. Okay, and then we can make the head, and the head has to be made out of flint. You can't make it out of wood. You can make it out of stone, but again, you can't make the stone, um, you can't make the stone tool in the tool forge, uh, tool station. So don't bother trying to make the stone one, it's not going to work. All right, and then let's get the old pickaxe. Good. So I got one of the things done tonight. I, oh man, I wish I had gotten some more gravel. So that's going to have to be the, the main thing for tomorrow. Oh, and let's use the old uh, clock thing. So anywhere you see a clock in Minecraft, it always updates, even in NEI or in your uh, statistics. You can go in there and you can see the time of day you know, instead of having to try to look out. So, um. Let me just do a little bit of digging, I guess, off camera tonight. And once it's daytime and I'm ready to move out, I will go ahead and kick in the recording. But for the moment, I'm just going to be digging up some uh, stone. And it's probably not going to be too exciting for anybody. So I'll be back in a bit. Ah, I love the sound of zombies burning in the morning. So it has turned morning. I dug a little bit this way, a little bit this way, so I've got some possibilities for alternate exits if I need to get out a different way. And of course that one block has the possibility of spawning stuff, so let's try this. Yes, I like to dig with F7 on because everything is so dark in this. Oh, there's somebody up there that's healing. That's not good. Uh, everything is so dark in this mod, it's just super hard for me to tell where things can spawn or not spawn. Uh, also, I did eat five of these, and it is now zero hunger. So, I thought it was going to be six. I guess it's only five for the morsels, but uh, there we go. So, let's peek out and see what's going on. I, today, I need to get out, and I need to find Creeper. No, I don't need to find Creeper. I need to find um, Gravel. That's job number one is gravel. Okay, there's at least two creepers there. And there's a baby zombie. Hey, stop breaking things. He was mad. He was... Hey, get away. Get away. Oh, okay, all of you. Jeez. Can't get it blocked. They're going to try to break the crafting tables and stuff. Oh, my gosh. Why are you... You're gaining health. That's not good. Ah, no, I don't have enough health... Uh, hunger to be doing this. Okay, okay, hang on. Everybody just left. There! Yikes! Um... Let's go this way. What's over here? If I can get out of here... Ah, okay. A frickin... Ah. Oh. Get out of here. Go away, Boy Scout. Alright, he's not a Boy Scout. But whatever. Oh boy. Um, you know what? Alright. Alright. Let's just do this. Hush up. And I need some more food. And what I need to do is make a furnace. And I got a good tip that I had totally forgotten about is you can make a cobblestone slab furnace. When you first start out, you can actually do this, and it will take a little bit less cobblestone for you. Uh, we can just put that right there. It works just like a regular furnace, and it just saves you a bit of cobblestone. So let's do that, and then I'm going to need um, some fuel. Yeah, I guess a couple of planks is going to be what I need here. So I think planks do one and a half. 
and we need three, so that'll be just enough, like so. Uh, slabs, actually I can keep with me, and instead of jumping up and down stuff, I can use the slabs to uh, kind of make some little inclines, I won't say stairs, but you know what I mean. Alright, so once that's... What the blazes was that? Oh man, okay, so there's got to be a, a a regen special mob out there that's keeping those guys alive. So this is going to be a real pain to get out of here. I may just end up having to stay in here and or kind of dig along and uh, find a whole different way out. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a little bit of time and see what happens here. Uh, okay, so now that I've got a juicer, I don't have any snow yet, but I can make some strawberry juice, I can make some raspberry juice, oh, and we want, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's six with these. We want, like, six at a time, because that's how many we're going to be able to do before we hit the uh, diminishing returns thing. So let's get some strawberry juice, some grape juice, some raspberry juice. And we are kind of set on some food for a little while. Better than just these little things, right? So let's see. Rutabagas can't eat. Bamboo shoots can't eat. Rhubarbs can't eat. Yeah, so this is just in time. I guess I can still eat the candleberries. And wow, is that just from the fire? I'm just looking at my health and I am really down far. Okay, well the good news is these juices are going to give us half a heart back each. Uh, and they don't fill you up much, so you're going to be able to eat a lot of them. Three, or whatever. So that's five. And as long as it doesn't double eat on me. Okay, so five, 80 percent. Uh, oh, no, I'm down to a half. Hmm. I'm going to have to double check and make sure I have the right config in. Because I thought you could do six before you got down to a half. Jeez, guys, um, where'd my pick go? What the? What the? Where'd my pickaxe go? Was there a, 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 a thief skeleton or something I totally didn't see? It's not in here. <laughs> okay, I have no idea where my pickaxe went. I will have to check the tape and see what the heck happened there. But I, I still gotta try to get out of here. Let's let's no 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 oh lord. Okay, so they are totally st stuck on me. I have no pickaxe. Um. Well, one possible option is if I can get them stuck in a pit. Oh, if I break that, he's going to see me and, and explode. I don't know, guys. What am I? Where the heck did that pickaxe go? Sometimes things bug out with Tinker's Construct, but I don't think that's it. I have no idea. And I have no gravel. So I can't make another one. And the day is burning. I I don't think we can get out of here. I mean without just dying. Look at that. No matter where I go, they're 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 here. Fire zombie, no. Fire zombie back. Okay, the hungry one's almost dead. Finally. Let's see if I can get him to die at least. Dude, just die. Is my pickaxe out here? I don't see it. Is there a thief skeleton? Dude, die. Why why do you guys all have regen? What what oh my come on. I can't get out there. Okay, okay. Uh, Alright guys, let me uh, pause. I'm going to have to hang out another night here. 
I can't really kill these guys. I don't have. I don't even have my pickaxe to hit them with, which at least would give me, you know, a plus two or three damage. Um, I don't know what's going on with the regen, but there's no way I'm getting out of here. So I guess I'm just gonna dig out some more dirt for now and kind of hang out for another night. Oh, really wish I could do something more, but I don't know what I can do. So. Maybe not the... I mean, I can't break the stone. I don't have a pickaxe. I don't have any flint. Yeah. Alright, let me go uh, check the tape and see where the heck my pickaxe went. <laughs> and uh, then I will be back uh, shortly. See you in a minute. Alright, folks. I went back and I found out where my pickaxe went. Let's take a look here at the replay. Uh, slow mo mode. You can see I have my pickaxe now. A hungry zombie comes and hits me, and I no longer have my pickaxe. That's right, folks. The hungry zombie just ate my pickaxe. At least that's what I'm going to say. At any rate, uh, this is going to be pretty much the end of an episode, so let me see what I can do between this episode and next to dig myself out of this hole and get back outside get some more gravel and uh, get back to making some progress here. Yay, blood and bones. Uh, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time, folks. Thanks for watching.